Welcome to the Dove's Inner Beauty Podcast, where we foster emotional awareness one individual at a time. Leading the way is Demetria Nickens, a certified mental health first aid instructor and trauma recovery coach with over two decades of experience in fostering emotional awareness in others by engaging their mental health. Join us for a powerful discussion with a leading mental health expert to uncover the impact of shame and inner critic on self-transformation. Welcome back, everyone. This is Garfield Bone, co-host slash producer, back in the studio with Demetria Nickens. Demetria, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I am well. I am well. So, Demetria, how does shame and in a circle impede self-transformation? Woo, uh, such a loaded question, but so important. Uh, oftentimes people don't consider or don't think about um, the shame that, that kind of happens in their life that stops them from doing the things they want to do, right? Uh, and so I like to try to draw attention. People need to start to notice, right, how the shame and the inner critic thoughts help stop them from moving forward. And so when you think about this idea of the inner critic, right, this, this um, a voice that is in your head that is telling you, no, don't do this, or yes, do this, or this is a bad idea, or that's stopping you, right, to, from doing things. And so it's important to notice that. And a lot of people don't even notice that this, this inner critic is happening in their head, right? Um, but the problem is, is that shame and the inner critic, you know, they, they work very closely together and they stop people from doing the things that they could be doing. So I, I have to give an example because it just works better. You understand it better when you, there's an example. So uh, when you think about if you have shame over, I don't know, a, a specific topic or a specific thing, um, then let's say it's uh, abortion, right? It's a, that's a heavy topic in the world today, right? So if there's shame around this word abortion because of, of maybe you had one in your past and there's shame around it. Every time you hear this word, especially in this political environment, you're going to want to shut down. You're, you're going to want to not be involved. You're, you know, your shame may be telling you, your inner critic may be saying to you the things like, well, don't engage in those conversations, just walk away and, and or hide, right? They may be trying to stop you from engaging with others. It may stop you from going outside. It may stop you from looking at TV or watching the news, right? And so this shame is keeping you from being active in your world. Uh, because of the shame and inner critic that's saying, hey, avoid this word like the plague. But the reality is, is that in a political environment like we have right now, you know, if you avoid the world completely because of one word, uh, because of all the shame that you feel because of what happened, uh, then you're, you're avoiding life, right? You're avoiding going to work. You're avoiding go, being social. You're avoiding all things. And so it's not helping you to avoid those things. And so it's necessary to one, notice that, right? Name it in your life, being able to say, okay, I'm going to notice, I'm going to acknowledge, I'm, I'm going to manage how I react to that. And then I'm, I'm going to notice those expectations that I'm putting on myself or others that are putting on me about this. And how do I really feel about it in order to truly transform uh, and, and move in the world the way you need to move in the world? And so I like to think about it like that, right? Being able to say, what is it that's stopping me from moving in the world in the way that I need to move through this world positively and greatly and, and what I want to do and what I need to do? And so you got to check check the shame and inner critic that, that may be happening in your life because of that. That's just creating this cycle of negativity uh, and move forward. Yeah, I guess you gave us some strategies of, 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 of managing all of that, but can you discuss the, the role of self-compassion and mindfulness in mitigating the effects of shame and in a, in a critic? Absolutely, right? Uh, it is so important to be able to sit with yourself um, when you're thinking about shame and inner critic. And oftentimes people don't want to sit with themselves. And so you have to give yourself some grace, right? You have to give yourself some self-compassion because it is hard. This is why you need a coach, right? Sometimes because you need someone to sit with you in this hard stuff. Um, and so you have to be able to, to say, you know what? This is really hard for me. I need someone to sit with me in this um, because I, I, it's hard for me to look in this mirror at myself and, and because all I wanna do is cry when that happens. And so a coach, 
can help sit with you in some of that, right? Can help ask you the right questions, can, can remind you to give yourself grace in these instances, take care of yourself, teach you how to be mindful, how to ground, right? How to just sit and breathe. We take breath for granted, but it is so important because breath is life, right? If we're not breathing, we're not living. Uh, but breath is so important to us. And so being able to just sit and breathe and be more in the present instead of in the past absolutely matters to our well-being. Wow. Good stuff as always, Demetria. Uh, you have a wonderful rest of the day. We'll see you in the next episode. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to the Dove's Inner Beauty Podcast where we foster emotional awareness one individual at a time. For a complimentary consultation, visit dovesinnerbeauty.com or reach out to us via email at innerbeauty at dovesinnerbeauty.com.